something new. Together. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his glory. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Amen. Amen. All right. In the Bible. All right. It is in this letter that we find our excuse to sin. Yeah. Whenever we do something that we know is Wait. not God like. Chapter 3. Here we go. We all fall short <laughs> of the glory of God. It's also in this letter that we have a wonderful tool for non-believers in chapter 5, where it says God demonstrates his own love towards us, that while we were yet, yet sinners, sinners, Christ died for us. <coughs> Amen. Again, in this letter, we find encouragement. In chapter 8 again, a little further down, where it says, in all things, work together for the good of those who love God uh -huh. and hold according to, to his, his purpose. Amen. To me, this is one of the dopest books in the Bible. Paul wrote this to the Christians in Rome about what to believe and how to behave as Christians. He touches on the sin, the salvation, the growth, the sovereignty, and the service. He wrote this letter to the church in Rome, and he ain't even been there yet. <laughs> but he felt that he had to write this letter because he heard about the drama that was going on in the church. Amen. Between the Jew and the Gentile. Yeah. So he felt that he had to talk to them a little bit about harmony. The harmony between the two. You see, the only thing that these Jew and Gentiles had in common was Christ. It was the early church. It was a baby church. Mm -hmm. And so if they were not bonded by the blood, they wouldn't have even been dealing with each other. Uh -huh. Right? So this is pretty much how things going down today. Thank you for agreeing with me. Amen. Because some of you looking at me right now wouldn't have a thing to do with me or somebody else if we did not serve in the same church. All right. Thank you for agreeing with me again. Amen. There are times that I have to act like some people do not exist. All right. If I want to keep my peace. All right. But if by chance I have to acknowledge their existence, it is with the full understanding that I am called by Christ to live harmoniously. All right. All right. Ministry over everything. Yeah. Love. Over everything. Yeah. Jesus. Over, over everything. everything. Get over it. Uh huh. Already. God has been too good to me 
Uh huh. And for those of you who don't like me, to you too. All right. <laughs> to let some petty beef uh -huh. prevent you or me from serving him. All right. Move on. Mm -hmm. Serve on, love on, praise on, worship on. Yeah. That was a necessary message for the early church in Rome, and it is a very necessary message for the church today. All right. We need to face it, and we need to be told to get it together. Because we have enough suffering outside the Just, church. Yeah. That when we come in here, uh -huh. we should have a place of refuge. Yes. You better come on. A place where we can be free. That's right. Where we can just woo sigh. Yes. Worship. Love. Serve. Yes. We're going to go back outside the doors in a couple of hours. Yeah. And deal with, with the devil. Yes, yes, Lord. Can we just come in here and chill? Okay. Some people want to believe that as Christians, you ain't supposed to suffer. Uh -huh. But the scripture says that Christ suffered and we must share in his suffering. Yes. You're not going to get a crown without the cross. Uh-huh. No testimony without a test. And no glory without a story. Huh. Now, I don't know too many people other than Maya Kitchens and Ashley Kelly that love vampires. <laughs> right. So they got me hooked on um, Twilight. Okay. <laughs> and Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2, um, there's a scene where the Volturi, um, it's towards the end, the Volturi was coming for the um, Cullen family, and the Cullen family had got all of they people together and the Volturi got all their people together and um, it was supposed to be this big battle but you know the Cullen family wasn't really trying to fight but the Volturi was trying to fight right mm. and they were coming after them because of this little kid that was breaking the rule about something and the, the, the head of the Volturi's name is Aro mm -hmm. right Aro and the head of the Colin family's name is Carla. So Aro was like, um, you know, we see this little kid. You no, know, it was Aro's brother was like, oh, we see the little kid. And and um, Carla was like, no, the kid is not what you think the kid is. And the brother was like, artifice. I love that. We see it. That ain't nothing to do with this, So. <laughs> Aro was like, oh, but we see the battalion that you brought with you. And Carla was like, no, these are witnesses. I say that to say uh -huh. that I've got some witnesses. Okay. To the suffering and to the glory. Yeah. My first witness, his name is Joseph. Okay. Joseph did some suffering. Yeah. He might have brought it on to himself, some people may think. Because he told his brothers about his dreams. And yes, he was the son that was so loved. Yeah. And yes, he was spoiled. Uh -huh. Did he deserve to get thrown into that hole? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Some maybe think he did. But he was thrown into a hole. He was sold into slavery. Mm -hmm. He was lied on and put into prison, and then he was forgotten about. I'm quite sure over them 14 years of, of slavery and 
servitude yeah. and imprisonment, yeah. there was some suffering. Yeah. Yeah. But then he became second in command, command of all of Egypt. Yes, Lord. Joseph. He's a witness to some suffering and some glory. Yes. Then there is Job. Huh. Job lost everything. everything. He was a good dude. He was so good that God told the devil to put him to the test. Lord have mercy. So the devil killed all his kids. Mm -mm. Not only did he kill his kids, but he tore his body up. Mm -hmm. And his wife even said, why don't you just curse God, God and, and die? die? I mean, Job was tore up. From the floor. He, he lost all his kids. He lost all his riches. And he was near death's door. Mm -hmm. But he stayed true to God. Even in all of his suffering. Can you imagine? No. The suffering he went through, the emotional suffering, and the physical suffering that he went through. Yeah. But in the end, he got back double. Job did. Job knows what it is to suffer and then to receive glory. Then there is Christ. You know the story. Uh huh. But are we above Christ Jesus? No. no. I think not. I, I know not. No, not. You know what else I know? Any suffering that we go through does not compare sure don't. to what our Christ went through. Yes, Lord. But you know what? There are some brothers and sisters that have come close. Yeah. There are hearts in the world. Yeah. In Africa, Martyrs. Europe, and Asia. Yep. We're just calling on the name of Jesus. We'll get them we'll killed. We'll get them killed. That's right. And yet, his name is being praised. Yes. Yeah. Saints are worshiping, they're teaching, they're preaching, they're giving out Bibles, they're having services underground. They're doing this fully aware that their lives are at stake, literally. Mm -hmm. They are being martyred because they are calling on the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. The persecuted. The persecuted saints of God in other parts of the world. <coughs> How many of us would be willing to die mm. for calling on the name of Jesus? Oh. Lord. And yet we sit here huh. in the good old U.S. of A. I mean good. <laughs> oh, U.S. of A. And we can't clap our hands. All right, all right. Or lift our voice. Come on here. And say how worthy and good Lord our have Christ. Christ is. Come on. You can walk down the street and call on the name of Jesus. With no problem. You can sit right here in this sanctuary and won't call on the name of Jesus. When pastor or anybody said, praise the name of the Lord, you will sit there. <laughs> but glory be to God. Uh -huh. There are saints that are not ashamed to that's praise right. the Lord. That's right. Praise him because he woke you up. Yes, sir. Praise him because yes, sir. he keeps you throughout the day. Yes, sir. From danger seen and unseen. That's if right. you take the MTA. Yes, there are sir. crazy people that yes, are crazy people on yes, the, sir. the train tracks. Be happy if you take the train and you make it off. That's the right. There are people that are dying every day due to insanity. Be happy God kept your, your mind. mind. You can praise God for literally anything, anything. and not die. Uh-huh. But there were persecuted saints. Mm. What? You won't. Lord 
have mercy. Even though you can. You don't have to be a Christian to know what it is to suffer. That's right. Mothers and fathers are burying their children and not the other way around. Yeah. Due to violence with no justice and no vindication. Mm -hmm. The poor are being threatened to lose their medical insurance or not even being able to get medical insurance. Sickness and disease are taking our babies. Good people are being prosecuted and persecuted while bad people are being exalted. Huh. Slavery, bigotry, abuse, addiction, racism, homelessness, hunger, rape, molestation. Oh, we know what it is to suffer. Yeah. The good news is blood bought, saved and going to heaven anyhow. The joint is of Christ, the suffering saints. We also know that there is glory after this. Yeah. Yeah. Because we also know that where we are weak, he is made strong. And if he does it, take away our problems, our trials, our tribulations, our sickness from us, we also know that his grace is sufficient. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we know what it is to suffer. But nevertheless, not our will, but God's will be done. Be done. We just have to hold on to his unchanging hand. Yeah. The same hands that were nailed to the cross. The same cross that he referred to when he said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Yeah, he did. But before he was lifted up, he was betrayed. Yeah. He was beaten. He was battered and he was bruised. Yeah. He suffered. He bled and died for me and for you. But that's not how the story ends. Uh -huh. Because in three days, that's when his glory began. Yes, Lord. So yeah, we gonna suffer. Uh -huh. But there will be glory after this. Yeah, yeah. yeah we gonna suffer. Yeah. But there will be praise after this. After this. Yeah. We gon' suffer, but there will be victory after, after this. this. So when you feel the aches and pains in your body, all you have to say is, after this. When you look in your wallet and you ain't got no money, hey, hey, hey. all you have to say is, hey, hey. after this. Hey. When your back begins to ache and your feet begin to swell, you say, after this. When your kids get on your nerves or you don't know where they are, after, after this. this. When you don't know which way to turn, all you have to say is, after this. When your mind starts going unraveled, all you have to say is, after this. All you have to say is, after this, because you know that no weapon formed against you shall ever prosper. So yeah, we gon' suffer, but after you suffer, there will come an after this. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.